So this weekend, Haley and I had a plan to go to Udawalawe, I think I said that correctly, uh, which is one of the national parks here in Sri Lanka. And we had a plan to go do a safari. And there's uh, elephants and lots of wild animals that you can go and see, and it looks really good. And so yesterday morning, Saturday morning, we got in the car, and we had a pickup, and we got in about an hour and a half down the road when we reached a little town where the road was flooded. And it wasn't too deep. We were able to go through the kind of flooded part but then we got a little bit further down the road and we got to this other flooded section which was too deep and too there was too much water to get through. So long story short, we actually had to turn back. Uh, there was no real way to get to Udawalawe. And so, yeah, you may have heard about the floods in Sri Lanka. I think it's been in the news a little bit. Yesterday morning, we didn't quite realize how bad it was. Reports came in later that I think about by now, maybe 115 people have been confirmed dead and a similar number sort of injured. Uh, and tens of thousands of people, you know, without food and water. And this is actually all in kind of south of Sri Lanka. In fact, Gaul, where we were last weekend, the area of Gaul, I believe, has been quite badly affected as well. Haley and I are very fortunate that we weren't there this weekend. I mean, literally because we were just there, it's kind of scary. Um, we're very thankful that we are safe here in Colombo. There's been lots of rain, but it, there's been no flooding, so that's been good. Earlier today, we, we felt a little bit compelled to sort of help if we could. So we managed to find a, a small organization that was collecting food to take down to that, the, the affected area. Actually, it was really hard to find like a collection point. We were Googling, like we, we tried to go to like the Red Cross and UNICEF and see if we could offer a contribution of something. There was, a, there was another Red Cross place up the road. All the Red Crosses are closed. The one up the road might be open? Because this is like an office, like a committee. The one up the road might be open. It was really hard to find anything. I actually found a guy uh, put something on Twitter that said they were collecting um, food to take down to the affected area. So <laughs> we got on the phone to, to find the people who were collecting all this food. We drove on over there and um, we spent about 30 or $40 at the supermarket, which is nothing for us. Like $40 at the supermarket is nothing, but <laughs> we managed to buy like a ton of rice and uh, dal and some other things um, that we were able to give to this, this little charitable company that are now taking it down this evening um, to the affected area. So yeah, we felt a little bit compelled to help out. I think the coolest thing is that we were actually able to go to the supermarket and spend our money directly on the food. And like, it was really cool to just be able to go and buy the food ourselves and, and literally give it to the people who would be taking it there. Again, we're just very thankful that we weren't there this weekend. We weren't left without power and we're not stranded down there. Bit of an interesting weekend. It's actually been really good weather here in Gaul. I got sunburnt again. What's your name? Samir. Samir? Go. Nice to meet you. Go on in. Say hi. Hi. This is Hayley. Hi. Hayley. 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 She's hi. pretty, isn't she? Selfie. Selfie. Yeah, that's our story. That's our little adventure this weekend. Actually, as I speak, I can see the weather changing. I can see the rain coming in. Our sunny weekend is, is coming to a close. Okay, literally, I stopped filming. Like that last sentence that I said was about 30 seconds ago. Goodbye. <laughs>